Now, there's no relief for former Union Minister of India, P. Chidambaram. He will remain under arrest after dramatically getting custody of him late last night. The CBI today got the go-ahead to keep him on a five-day remand. A special CBI court ordered for him to be detained till the 26th of August. The order came after another action-packed day today. Mr. Chidambaram reached the court uncertain about his fate. He was accompanied by a battery of lawyers and top Congress legal experts. Solicitor General Tushar Mehta appeared for the CBI in court and he stated that Mr. Chidambaram did not cooperate or respond to any summons by the agency. The demand was for custodial interrogation of P. Chidambaram on the grounds that he needs to be confronted with documents and other accused in the case. Meanwhile, arguing for Mr. Chidambaram, his battery of lawyers, including Mr. Kapil Sibyl and Abhishek Manu Singh, we argued that his son, Karthi Chidambaram, was granted bail in the same case by the Delhi High Court. They maintain that Chidambaram has never skipped an interrogation and that the CBI's word should not be taken as the gospel truth. But all their efforts were in vain as the CBI eventually got more time to question him. P. Chidambaram will be sending, spending rather the weekend with them but his family and legal counsel can meet him today, uh, meet him daily rather, for half an hour. The 73-year-old will be medically examined every 48 hours. Meanwhile, P. Chidambaram's son Karthi reached Delhi this morning. He was seen at the protests over Article 370's revocation at Jantar Mantar in the capital, where he continued to claim innocence. Remember yesterday, P. Chidambaram was arrested from his residence in Delhi, and that too after CBI officials had to scale the walls of his house to get inside. The agency's chief too was part of this team. He was uh, ultimately arrested less than an hour later amidst desperate protest by Congress party workers. As you see in, this, in these scenes, uh, P. Chidambaram was taken to the CBI headquarters. As fate would have it, eight years ago, he was part of the inauguration of this very building. He was then the Union Home Minister of India and former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh had declared this building open. This was then the new CBI office. Thank you.